Okay, now we're trying to demonstrate X. Inside here is X number of coins. What else have I got on my scale? Well, on this side, I have X, which I don't know how many coins there are in there. And on this side, I have one, two, three, four, five. And it's balanced when I have five coins in. So on this side of my scale, I have X plus five. And it's balanced when I have this amount of coins. Let's just check how many coins do we have on this side of the scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So when I have X plus five equals nine. Now most of you understand that, that something plus five equals nine. When you use the cover your hand rule, you find it quite easy because you know that four plus five must equal nine. So therefore X must equal four. But then when we get a little bit more complicated where we start discussing X divided by three plus uh, two equals four, then you start to wonder why I'm trying to teach you to subtract this two from both sides of the equal sign. So I'd like to demonstrate using this scale what we're actually doing when we subtract from both sides of the equal sign. So most of you can see here that x has to equal four. Well, what do we do then? Here, I have five loose coins sitting on here on this side of the scale. One, two, three, four, five. And if I take those five coins away, I don't need them on this side of the scale because these five coins will actually balance with these five from this side of the scale. One, two, three, four, five. If I take away five from here and five from here, my scale balances again. So I have five coins here and I've taken them away from this side of the scale and now it's balanced because I also took away five coins there. If I hadn't taken the five away from this side of the scale, my scale would have been far too heavy on this side. So I'm allowed to do whatever I like to my scale as long as I do the same thing to both sides. And now I decided to take away five coins to both sides to make my scale balanced. So this is what we're doing when, we, when we're actually doing that mathematically. I want you to practice with this skill. As long as I do the same thing to both sides of my equal sign, I'm allowed to do it. So my x, I haven't changed that at all. Here's my x. I took away the five coins that were on that side, so I don't have anything here anymore. Five minus five is zero. I just have my x on this side. And it equals, I had nine, but I took away five coins. So I now know that nine minus five is four, so x must equal four. It means that on this side of my scale, I have four coins. One, two, three, four. So in my bag here, if I'm not very much mistaken, my little special bag, I should have four coins. One, two, three, four. And that's exactly what was in my little bag there. So I've just proved mathematically that x equals 4. I know this skill is very useful in the beginning when you're learning algebra. Something plus 5 equals 9, x must equal 4. But as you get more and more advanced expressions with 2 lots of x and 3 lots of x or 54 lots of x minus 32 equals 108. How would you solve that one just covering your hand over there? It takes a while. So the skill instead is learn how to add 32 to both sides of the equation. It gets rid of the 32 there. So you get 54 lots of x equals 108 plus 32. That would be 140. Okay, if 54 lots of x equals 140, Divide both sides by 54. I'll get what one lot of x is, because 54 divided by 54 is x. So x is 140 divided by 54. And then we can simplify that or use our calculators. So this is just a way to learn how to start using these simple algebra skills
by subtracting or adding to both sides of the equal sign to make our scale balanced again. And it's just to help you with those skills.